There is no reason why I should not wear this rune because it is perfect. It is almost perfect. Hey, yo, what is up, guys? It's just Rick here, and we're going to be jumping into the Necromancer Tower on my Thief class. Now, I should mention right off the bat that this is going to be one of the first times I've ever done, like, a post-commentary. And truth be told, I was actually not intending to complete this dungeon, but as I kept going along, I started to realize that, uh... I was gonna clear it, so uh, I was very surprised myself and was actually just watching another YouTube video at the time. Was not even, I wasn't gonna use any of the audio anyway, so. Anyway, guys, this is what turned out of that. And get a grab on that guy. The cool thing about the grab is that, you know, even if it's an enemy that can't normally be grabbed, you can kind of do a lot of damage anyway. Luckily for me, you can grab that guy, so I was getting some iframe, additional iframe onto it. You know, if you don't grab them, if they're not grabbable, you still do the attack, but it uh, doesn't have the iframe on it, so it's not as safe. But right now, you can see, right now, I, I think I have a video already on my thief where I was kind of showcasing what kind of skills he has. And you'll notice that I'm not really utilizing those skills. I'm u using a lot of the same <laughs> ones. Um, those being the... Uh, the the kunai throws and my basically that's it in the grab as well so basic attack kunai throws in the grab or what I use the most right there the assassination of darkness I think it's called and as well as the backflip the and to uh, the dark dagger I guess it's called but uh, do hide one time and then utilize that skill that one right there is actually really really good kind of just whenever it's off cooldown it's just kind of free damage because that one's also very safe and there's another high frame grab using the I frame there, dishing out a lot of damage, and there's, I'm telling you guys, I've never basic attacked as often as I had in this dungeon and used the same skills, but it totally works. It totally works. So basic attack right there does so much damage, and, you know, it also gives AoE damage. When you, when you hit with the basic attack, it's also AoE damage, just like any basic attack with any kind of weapon right here. Um, now you'll notice I'm gonna try to throw the daggers at him, but for some reason the assassination of darkness does not hit all three hits of it. So I keep attempting to throw them, but they're not connected. <laughs> My basic attack turns out to be the one that's connecting the most out of this. I don't know what the hell that was. Um, so I was like, okay, fuck this. I guess I'm not gonna throw the daggers anymore, and I'll just hit with basic attack, which was more than good enough to to hit with that. Try a leaf strike, almost get myself stabbed. Um, just being a little bit patient now, I'm kind of realizing that the daggers are not working, the assassination of darkness, so I'm like, fuck it, basic attack then, shit. He doesn't bleed anyway, so it's not a big deal, and dodging the rocks is going to be main priority. I've noticed with the assassin, actually, I never really got into the point where I'm about to run out of time, which if you didn't know, the tower actually... Um, it is based on time here, so like you have to complete the floors in a certain amount of time or else you'll get cursed And the curse is just a debuff that will just slowly whittle away your HP and um, Never had that message come up on any of the floors that it did uh, Because the deeps on this assassin class is just so high and she's level 35 if I didn't mention it and you're gonna see right here that It's it <laughs> I think it just kind of scales based on your level. I swear that it was not this hard or this easy on my other characters that are already level 40 when I tried it, so I don't know what it is, but finally utilizing some different skills right here. Uh, the fire, the sneak attack, I think it's called, or sneaky attack, um, is really good because it applies this debuff that takes away percentage HP, which normally it doesn't really, it's not that noticeable. Right there, you see assassination of dar darkness, basic attack. It's more than enough to take out these guys and combo them, but. Uh, you know, normally a debuff like percentage based HP is not that important because you kill mobs so fast anyway that, um, you know, it really doesn't matter that you're doing 10% tick damage over time because it's really not going to be that effective. But when you're fighting against stronger mobs like these ones, um, that kind of stuff adds up. So, uh, you know, just throwing that out there that sometimes these skills would be pretty useful. Try to get a sneak attack, totally miss because. Okay, I call her Betty. The little plant pet that I have is really strong. It does a lot of AoE damage. Um, and it's probably one of the best pets, I think, honestly. Better than the lizard pet, which does comparable damage, but is not AoE. This one does AoE damage. Now, I, I mentioned Betty because she's going to play a part later on in another room, which almost gets me fucking killed. Betty almost killed me, guys. So, um, not coming up soon yet, but it will come up soon where the pet 
can really screw you over and it might be something of consideration if you're planning on doing the tower yourself with whatever class um, one room in particular you guys will know room 8 is very dangerous and I'll explain it when we get there but Betty totally almost fucked me over there but uh, here we're just kinda wiping out those spiders turned out that basic attack again was probably one of the easiest things to do and if I could land an assassination of darkness another easy thing to do here is probably my worst room yet I started off really well and then uh, totally fucked up right here I don't know why I tried to use that move right there because look at my HP, it's gone. <laughs> I'm getting triple. Uh, good thing though, I pick up the burst and uh, decide to use it right then because I didn't want to lose right there because I, would, I already felt like I had the power to clear this. So I uh, used the burst, used a bunch of potions, and I'm back to full now. But um, And just started spamming. If you guys see the power of the, um, the enrage bonus, um, I can basically cast, infinite cast the assassination of darkness once I'm in that mode. So. It is so devastating on the assassin, probably more so than most any other class because I don't think any class has the cooldown that low where you can spam it infinitely. The cooldown comes back right when you use all three skills and you can just keep throwing it. Um, after seeing the effectiveness of that skill, I got it max, the assassination of darkness, and honestly, I don't regret it for a single bit considering I'm doing uh, mostly PvE and stuff like that. So with the dark dagger right there totally miss I'm trying to find like a good place right here good skill to use I'm just honestly two things could happen either I'd split them up and kill them one on one which would probably be safest thing to do or just find a way to group them all together luckily I, they all came into the left corner over here so got pretty lucky there just started throwing assassination darkness dodge that skill with the dark dagger right there teleported behind him still got hit so use the grab and iframe and hopefully kill that guy nope don't so okay then I kill him <laughs> get wrecked and assassinations mobility man is just helping me out here and more assassination of darkness man just so much damage and like there right there is the burn damage that's on the the hunter right now and so that's helping me do a little bit of damage and one thing that's really good to have on the assassination is teleport techniques like ways to just disappear off the map and assassin has more than one yet she can just hide flat out hide and for five seconds she can't be she won't be okay I'm gonna stop what I was saying there so I can show you what the fuck Betty does. Look, look at Betty. I'm like, what? She and she killed the freaking the girl. And if you don't know, okay, room eight. Um, if you kill the girl that's in the middle, you will enrage everybody else in the room, all the males. And the the female is very simple to kill. Obviously, Betty killed him, her in one shot, and now all of the enemies are enraged. The thing that happens when they're enraged, they dish out serious damage almost certain that if I get hit by any of their attacks I'm gonna die one shot so I am freaking um, holding my breath here obviously since I cleared this dungeon I don't get hit but if I would have gotten hit guys I would have fucking died so whatever I was saying fuck whatever I was saying cuz this room gave me a fucking heart attack almost died right there right there almost got hit Betty still fucking around but uh, was able to pull ahead on that luckily using the same skills that I'm using. Mostly what I'm trying to do is maintain my distance. The, the fire guys right there um, are the real problem. They're really fast and their attacks come out very quickly like that. And so, was able to pull ahead on that that room right there. And look at Betty still fucking around. Use the fire grab technique right there to finish off the room and now I feel scot-free. Because room 9 is nowhere near as hard as that last room. I think room 8 is going to be the the decider so if you're playing um, a class that has big AOEs or if you have a pet you really have to consider room 8 uh, playing differently because you want to try to be as safe as possible and do not kill the female because honestly the guys are not very strong without being enraged like that and once they do get enraged they get pissed one shot kills guys no matter what level you are I'm level 40 on my paladin have very good gear and still is getting one two shot so don't fuck around and you know this one normally might be annoying because we got boomerang people and the females with the shields actually can guard against most of your attacks if she's using guard mode not a big deal for assassin you know grab and uh, uh, daggers and shit you know <laughs> who cares you know just just aoe this one's not very bad at all but the next room coming afterwards is gonna be the final boss which is that guy that's back there who's been throwing bombs since room eight um, 
and those are actually kind of annoying because they stay in place and they dish out like 2,000 damage and you see I've accumulated my burst mode which I'm like okay this is a good time to use it then because I'll be able to permanently um, throw my daggers at them so I think that's what I do there you go um, what the first he opens up with that move guys and it is a grab right there that hook and it is devastating you get caught with that grab and it's gonna do a lot of damage and it's hard to dodge it okay right here he uses his flame uh, flame you know lion things whatever I don't dodge it now I'm just saying right now I should have dodged it I have more than a couple techniques to use um, the tracing chop where I jump off screen that would have been a good one the sneak attack with the flame I could have dodged it there so a couple things I could have done so if I could go back in time and replay that moment I would have dodged it better but that aside don't really care and even when I was playing it right now I was thinking I was like oh shit what's gonna happen if he does it again because I, I didn't think about it until now so um, just something you think about but because I had the burst mode I was dishing out so much deep that I don't think he was able to cast it again so anyway guys there was a run of the necromancer tower Tell me what you guys think of this post commentary. It feels like I'm doing like one of those things, like you know, the commentary they do over movies and stuff. I don't know. It feels so uh, not genuine. So don't. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to fake it or anything. But you guys can see I did get a Dawn Strike rune, which is great. It's actually a a great uh, rune for assassin, my assassin class, and I'm actually gonna show it off because what I put it on and look at the stats I got on this thing. Almost flawless statage on this thing. Look at it. Dawn Strike skill attack by 46% gets increased. And look at the cost of it. Decreased critical power by 0%. So literally, there is no reason why I should not wear this fucking room. Because it is perfect. It is almost perfect. Only 4% off the maximum that you could possibly get with no debuff. So, um, it's, this thing is basically priceless. So, I'm really happy about it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry about the post-commentary. And I will catch you guys later.